Okay guys, I'm just showing you a little of my city. My Theo town city that I've created. Like this island here, like I created it from scratch. It's it's not it wasn't created naturally by the game. I like made the island. Um same with this island and the connection and whatever. Um this is the Statue of Liberty that I renamed to Statue of Independence. This is my innovation drive. Like these are designs that you guys can like look from, um, innovate in your city and try to do whatever. As, as far as you can see, like I got the, the Sydney Theater, um, I got uh, the Bank of China, I got the Singaporean building right here, I got right here the big building in Chicago, which in the game it's not, it, no one can't even work there. Like. It's like a garden or like a park in the game. Um, right here, like I only have like one, one of these right here. Uh, river power plants, like they supply the entire city, which is so cool. And it's not even on a hundred; it's like ninety-four point nine percent. And it's supplying the entire city so i don't need to do one and it, it gives your environment more a more natural feeling you know like to it that it don't seem all polluted and the more the more um nature you have in your cities i think you get points for that um underground highway systems like i do my underground highway systems because i think it would be better for like if ships or whatever if they think to upgrade the game like how ships can pass through these areas you know so that's what i do the islands the thing is that you can you can label all your islands if you want to label them i think you're going to public yeah crap sorry public decorations then labels and then you can label your islands um hadol or whatever name your islands and make it more you know, um, visually yummy, <laughs> I would say. Um, this is this right here is where all my ships come. So I like, I have it in the middle of town, if you can see that. So I don't know why I did it like that. I guess I just find it fascinating to see it like that. Over here, I got like my little neighborhoods. Actually, I don't know how the game do this though, but I have two bus terminals two bus terminals that's so crazy and both of them are in use i don't know why and in my other ones it's not working like it's one at a time and in this particular um city i can open two bus terminals at once if you can see here two bus terminals another thing what i noted another thing i noticed is the bus routes when you create the bus routes, right? Like only emergency um, vehicles can drive on it and military vehicles and buses. No other cars can drive on them. And if you want other cars to drive on these, these roads, it, it just won't happen. The buses can travel on it, however, but you know you would think that it's a bus route you don't have to program the buses to drive on these routes wrong like you have to like put like bus stops on the routes and you know put them in a little thingy for them to like attach them to a bus route for them to actually drive on the bus routes and if you if you don't make like overhead roads cars will not enter the part of like different parts of the city that the bus route is cutting off so you have to make like overhead bypasses and whatnot uh yeah that's that that's pretty much it like over this side like it's just an island that was over there and i turned it into something else totally i find it really fun this game take up a lot of my time you know like, it's really addictive to uh I try, oh, well, a new thing that I try that I think will incorporate nature into the game, like, I know it might be stupid or my little way of being nerdy, but this right here, I made like a little, I 
wait i do a bigger one over here i, I call it my my nature oh, what i forgot the name of that yeah my nature cubicle right so like in here you will find everything that a person wants like nature parks um, everything for your kids and families that they don't have to come out on the dangerous roads right it's like a little it's like a um, cubicle that you just live in and it have all the natures and I think I get nature points for it I'm not sure if they give nature points I just think they give nature points but when you look like it's entirely naturey <laughs> Right, so you guys can go. Like, who don't have Theo, Theo Town? They're losing out. So I, I recommend you download this game. This game is really fun. It's fantastic, actually. Make sure for people that already have the game, I would recommend that you guys like get more as much green space in your city as possible and try to innovate your city and try to be creative with it and don't make it like another urban area. Cause trust me you can do whatever you want to do with this thing and it's upgrading by the days you have no idea how addictive this thing is and it's really fun so that's it that's my city like i have other cities but that's for next time i have a lot more cities like i developed my theo world so much and even new ones that i've created over here i deleted like a lot this one I deleted recently because because the United States of Saving went to a war with Wakanda and the United States of Saving lost. <laughs> it's crazy though, but you guys can go on it and do whatever you guys want to do and get ideas from my my little thing that I have here. So I'm going to open an, another one and you guys can see. Oh, crap. This one of small amount of electricity so i gotta start this out i don't know what did i do or what war did i went to with any other cities but you know you get the drill and this is my highway system it's crazy as mess this is one of my old 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 one a meteorite hit right here so now i have to reconstruct everything so that's a little of my Theo world, guys. So I hope you guys like learn or get ideas from this or whatever if you don't want to. Whatever. So that's it, guys.